So I officially turned seven weeks and four days. And as you can tell, I've been breaking out a lot. Um, this week, nausea has hit me like a hammer. Uh, I'm nauseous all day long, clearly, because I'm filming this in my bed. I'm just nauseous all day long. The only thing I can eat is saltine crackers. I finally got some Prego Pops, and I took one of those today, and it, it like, helped for a good... 35 40 minutes um just everything just makes me nauseous so that's how I'm feeling right now I just want to like document each week and how I'm feeling so I can kind of see the progress or just let you guys know what I'm experiencing um when I looked up YouTube videos there wasn't really like in detail symptoms like you would see people talking about symptoms but they looked fine but I wanted to talk about it while I'm going through it and yeah, I just been having a lot of breakouts around my mouth and on my forehead. So I know that's probably like hormonal problems. They say that's a boy. Well, no, they say that's a girl. If you break out a lot, it says that the girls take the beauty out of you. So yeah, I just, I just feel nauseous all day, y'all. Like nothing sounds good to eat, nothing at all. Um, sometimes I'll see food and then I'll be like, ooh, that looks good. And then it makes me nauseous. Um, just laying down all day is what has been helping. Um, drinking Coke sometimes help in a Sprite. And just eating plain food like applesauce, fruits. Um, peaches have been really good. I've been actually being able to eat peaches, watermelon. I eat rice, applesauce. Just a very plain, plain diet. Like, And I'm trying to make sure I eat because I know that my baby needs nutrients, but it's so hard like you get so nervous to actually eat because you feel so nauseous um i actually have thrown up once and i hope that i don't ever again i really hate throwing up so that's why this nauseous nauseating feeling is not good for me because i just hate throwing up like even just right now talking about it is making me nauseous but yeah that's my symptoms so far for seven weeks um they say that your symptoms by like 12 weeks so your second trimester you actually start feeling better so I'm hoping that will actually start happening for me or sooner I'll be happy if my nausea morning sickness goes away by tomorrow hey guys I just got some chick-fil-a because this is what I was craving so today I am about to head to the mall and it's just kind of like a finally getting out the house that's what it is it's I'm feeling better nausea is a little bit better just turned eight weeks and I'm feeling way better but on my way to the mall I was getting nausea again and I figured it was probably because I was hungry because that happens I get hungry I get nauseous now versus how I was just having nausea all day so I was like, let me go get some Chick-fil-A. I thought I could go to the mall first and then Chick-fil-A would have been last after all the errands were done. But yeah, baby wash was like, I need food now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm eating some Chick-fil-A. I got some strips, some fries, and a Sprite. I usually get a shake, but you know, baby Washington just doesn't, doesn't want that either. You know, I don't know. I'm excited to see what we're gonna have because the breaking out, the nausea things like that I'm like what are you I need to know if you're a boy or a girl so we can have a talk but yeah so I am feeling a little bit better though all I've had is fries so far um and I'm drinking a Sprite and I've been feeling a little bit better I'm going to take keep updating you guys with some pictures of my belly and stuff I want to see that and be able to look back on that but I just want to take pictures in the exact same outfit every single time and I feel like I'll be able to do that if I had a cute outfit. So I just want something simple. So I want that Calvin Klein bra and underwears. I want that for me to go get that. I've been looking everywhere. So I'm gonna see if Macy's has it. And if Macy's doesn't have it, then I think Marshall's does, or I'll just order it online. But for right now, I'm just gonna go and see if I can find that. And then we have our photo shoot of that you guys will get to see of when I actually announce. So that's when social media will find out. But for right now, it's still a little bit on the hush 
like only a few people know like some of our friends and our family actually finds out next week because we're gonna send that box that you guys saw and um so i'm gonna go and try to find no this didn't this polynesian sauce just dripped on my car how disrespectful mm -mm -mm. i feel like just taking you guys along on this journey is going to be exciting for me um, being able to look back on these videos as memories for us we have our first appointment next week so um, i'll be taking you guys along with that so no luck finding calvin klein bra and underwears so i'm gonna go look for my dress and probably just have to order the Calvin Klein bra and underwears um, off of Amazon. I saw that Amazon does have them. I literally was in Macy's for like not even that long, but it just seems maybe like school shopping or something is why they don't have a lot. Cause I saw a pink one, but they didn't even have like any of my sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just order it off of Amazon and probably get like a gray and black one. I was gonna walk the mall and actually go to where I need to find this dress, but walking just doesn't sound good right now. I really am just ready to go lay down at home. So I'm like, I'll just drive to the other side of the mall. Also y'all, people have been trying to like run me over out here. I was walking into the store and I was almost to the door and this car was just speeding. Like it wasn't gonna slow down. Like, come on now, I had the right of way. So I had to like speed walk across and then it like zoomed right past me. I don't know. It, you can tell that people are like last minute school shopping right now. And I feel like I definitely don't want to be in that last minute school shopping crowd. Because I know, I remember how that used to be. You're like just trying to find outfits. Everybody's running around for the deals. And I'm just here to get some simple items. And... I also probably, I came at 1 p.m., which isn't a bad time because if you think about it, um, people are at work. So I figured, you know, I'd be going around their lunch or like while they're at work. It didn't, it doesn't matter, y'all. Doesn't matter. to film in the store with the dress just because they have music super loud i've noticed a lot of stores have been doing that lately so if you kind of film it's going to be copyrighted so couldn't really film in there but i did go ahead and order that one dress and i just got a smaller size and they're going to ship it to the house so i'm gonna see if that even fits when it comes in i got a small because it was super stretchy um but if it comes in and i just don't like it then i'm gonna take that back but i'm also still looking for another one because that one just wasn't like Oh my gosh, like, this is it. I did need a shirt, too, because I have an interview next week. So I went ahead and got just this, like, plain old <laughs> dress white shirt that I'll put, like, a black shirt underneath and some heels. I definitely need a nap right now. And I also did get to see um, there's, like, a salon inside this mall that does hair extensions and braids and things like that so I actually got to stop by there and get their contact information so I can actually so I can like book my appointment because my I need to get my hair done for this shoot I'm gonna just get a sew-in because I miss my sew-in and we're gonna be by the water so I just figured having my hair down and when my hair's down with like a certain type of flowy dress it'll look better and it's gonna look it's gonna look bomb I got it done before for my birthday if you guys checked out that vlog so I'm gonna get that same exact style. I'm just going to a different person because I don't wanna drive all the way to LA. Who wants to drive to LA all the time? I used to, ain't gonna lie, I used to be driving to LA. I used to be there multiple times a week, 
but now your girl the way gas prices are set up and the way that drive is i think i rather just i rather just shop and go local um i feel very accomplished today very accomplished so yeah i'll see you guys later this week i'll check back in when i have my appointment oh, yeah. As you guys could just see that was my first appointment and it went so so well like we were just so excited to know like officially that we were pregnant we really enjoyed it being able to see the ultrasound and hear the heartbeat i'm about to just go through the whole list of all my symptoms all the way up until 12 weeks just letting you guys know what was going on and giving you guys some of the products that i used that actually like helped me and different things that i did to get me through the first trimester because woo that first trimester is the people that don't get sick bless you so i started feeling good like as soon as i hit 10 weeks but up to that it was something different every single week when i hit five weeks i started breaking out so bad so i was breaking out around my mouth and my forehead and my cheeks and they were just it was like uncontrollable um also my chest i've always dealt with chest acne but it's been 10 times worse with all the hormones and stuff but some of the things that i did is just like try not to wear as much makeup like letting your face just breathe and then also the main thing that cleared my face was i got a facial so i went and got my deep pore facials which they do extractions and they just cleanse your face and do a different mask on it but it's really those extractions that really just clear my face up so my face and the acne i actually got rid of that with my facial and i would just want to sleep so so much in week five so week five was when everything just started like piling on you and then having to take a nap every day i could not go a day without a nap like every day was a nap week six i started becoming nauseous all day long so that's when i'd say week six was when it like really really hit your girl before that i was kind of like okay i can handle this like this isn't bad but then it started hitting me to where like you saw at the beginning of this video i'm laying in bed have to stay in bed all day in week seven um, i started getting acid reflux back pain extremely tired uh, my acne had went away so it only lasted i guess you'd say like three weeks and then i had a f my first food aversion so and it had to be the two things that i love so alfredo sauce couldn't do it and then also ranch and i if y'all know me i love i love me some ranch and i couldn't eat no ranch like i couldn't get it with my dipping sauce i was just like i can't eat this some of the things that i could only eat that helped me um i could eat popeyes for some reason but it would be like the mashed potatoes and then the chicken that would be pretty much in fries like i could eat a bunch of fries i could eat a lot of carbs like breads things like that, um, applesauce. I craved a lot of fruits like peaches. I just ate whatever I could and I knew that I wanted at that time because you just wanna eat. Like nothing sounds good at that time in your first trimester. So you just, just eat whatever sounds good to you and that you are craving at that time because you just have to eat something to provide for your growing baby. But that like got me through the hardest part of the first trimester was just eating those bland stuff, drinking ice cold Cokes. I just loved like an ice cold Coca-Cola. I don't know what it was about it. And ice cold water. Oh my gosh, I loved me some water. So week eight was when my nausea really, really hit me even harder. By week nine was when the frequent bathroom trip started happening to where you just felt like you had to go like you had been holding it for hours and then you would go in there barely be anything so that's when that started then i started getting headaches and then by week 10 was when like 
I don't know, God was just like, all right, you experienced the first trimester and I'm gonna give you a break and take it away. As soon as I hit 10 weeks, that's when it just like, the nausea just went away. Like it was, I was just like, I woke up one day and I was like, wow, like it's gone. But then I started getting uh, round ligament pain out of the 12 weeks of a first trimester. I only experienced, I guess you could say I only experienced like the bad sides the bad side effects of the first trimester of the nausea and everything i guess i only experienced that from like week six or seven all the way until week 10. that's the one thing like now looking back i'm like man i can i could do this again if you guys are going through your first trimester right now let me give you some of the things that really really helped me because i feel like my nausea went away before i hit 12 weeks because of some of these things that I was doing. I have some of the things that I had ordered. So one of the things that I saw that a lot of people were talking about that helped them was these Prego drop pops, Prego pop drops. Honestly, to me, it just tastes like a sour candy. If you wanna try something like this, but you don't feel like ordering it, or you just really need to try something for relief right now, I would just go get some Jolly Ranchers and suck on those. But if you wanna try these, I've heard a lot of great things that this does help with people. And one of my best friends actually had told me about trying Vicks. So just any, the Vicks Vapor Rub, putting it on your forehead, your chest, and just smelling it. For some reason that would help me, especially with my headaches, so I didn't have to really take any medicine. I wish I would've found out about these a little bit sooner because I would've just kept them on me at all times. Which after I did find out and I tried them and I was like, oh my gosh, like this works so, so good. This is Ginger Chews. Highly, 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 highly recommend these. I would just keep these in my purse. Anytime I was about to feel like I was getting nauseous, I would pop. I didn't even have to eat a whole one. I would just like break off a piece and chew on it. I got them from Amazon. It is a huge bag. They're called Gin Gin Ginger Chews. I don't know, they're a miracle. That is the only thing that really took away my nausea. So just know if you are experiencing your first trimester and it's just you're so sick and everything just know that it's gonna get better but definitely try some of these tips you don't know what's gonna work until you try them and I just needed that relief because it was an everyday all day thing and I just know how draining and like depressing that can get when this is such a happy time and you're just feeling so sick all the time like the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed for weeks on, that's just how you're feeling. So try anything. I just know that this is the stuff that worked for me, so I had to share it with you guys. But congrats to all you guys that are expecting. I can't wait to keep updating you guys on this journey and we're going along on it together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.